Hello. Welcome to Chris and Austin Reviews. Today we are reviewing Journey to the Mysterious Island. Here's the deal. A few nights ago, a radio signal got sent out from these coordinates. It could be the mysterious island that Jules Verne wrote about. You think you're gonna travel halfway around the world and meet up with some lunatic who's messing around on ham radio? It's not some lunatic. It's my grandfather. He's been looking for Mysterious Island for over half of his life. Chris is going to be doing all of the review and he has been hooked up uh, previously to some electrodes as you can see here. There are going to be some words that he can't say during his review which we'll put up on the screen now. And he has no idea what those words are and every time he says them I'm going to give him a little bit of a shock with the electrodes that he's been hooked up to. I didn't even turn it! Oh my god you're such a chicken. Um, basically, he has to then try to avoid using those words for the rest of his, the review without knowing what words they are. So, let's get going, shall we? Josh, whatever his name is, plays a spoiled little brat who is bored and is looking for something to do. Um, <laughs> going well, going well. Dwayne Johnson. <laughs> what was don't get too hot. Was that too hot? Was that alright? I don't know. Just don't get too hot. I don't know. You thought it was going to be <laughs> The Rock, didn't you? Oh. <laughs> Keep going. <laughs> Go ahead. Come on. <laughs> Come on, my love. It's easy. So, the rock. <laughs> <laughs> I made both of them. <laughs> so, now how are you going to describe him? <laughs> the former wrestler, or you'd call him an old name for Stone, the stepfather. <laughs> this is a good game. Go on, go on. Well, we're going to refer to him as Daddy from now on. <laughs> You're lucky. The kid wants to go to this island and Daddy won't let him go by himself, so he tries to hop on to the adventure with him by accompanying him. They end up on some weird place, country, and they hire this person to charter a helicopter, and of course, then they have the skanky old. <laughs> Chick from <laughs> High School Musical. <laughs> no, you're fine. I, I thought you were going to say slut, so you said skanky, you got away with that one. I was sure you always call everyone sluts. I was sure you're going to do that. Well, she wasn't a slut. <laughs> You said it! You said it! <laughs> you even knew what the word was. Anyways, the adventure part of this movie is, you know, when they're running away from this animal or something. They also find their grandfather. <laughs> <laughs> what? You're getting used to it. How high was that? That was only a five. It was a five, I swear. The kid does not look like a 17 year old, he looks older. The dad does not look natural because of his muscles, it's just too many. He also does this really awkward and gross thing with his pecs. What's that called? <laughs> What's that called, my love? I actually don't know. Peck pocking! <laughs> that was one of my words. You are so lucky. So what are you going to score of a love? <laughs> I'm going to give it... I had written down here a thumbs up. <laughs> What's the, oh. I was really high! Oh. My love. It wasn't that hard, was it? It was. So you're fine, you're fine. Calm down. Calm down. 
I told you, you don't go too high. I didn't go too high. That was not a 10. You give it a thumbs up. <sighs> See, I found the humour in it was a bit too childish. I know it was a kid's film, but The Rock it was just very awkward doing those jokes, wasn't he? And the whole peck popping thing, I didn't like it. Oh. You're lucky, you got out of that. Um, the special effects was alright, but it wasn't that fantastic. The bees, I didn't like the bees. And how oh, could they yeah. control flying the bees? Like, the bees are just gonna do whatever the hell bee wants. Hmm. They just jump on and ride it, I don't yeah, think so. It was very unrealistic and everything was make-believe. But I thought it was alright.